Okay, I'm at the entrance to Skylight Cave. It closes in the winter, but it's open right now. At least I hope so. Yep, the ladder's there, yay. Man, they make it harder every year to get here. There's actually a private property to the north here. So, yeah, it's kind of a long drive to get around here. But there's the metal staircase I'm gonna take down. But before I do that, I wanna check out ground level, do some sightseeing, make it worth the crazy drive here. There's also a log there. I think that's like if people wanna sneak in when it's closed, they like climb down that log. But keep in mind, if you screw it up, you're gonna fall down 30 feet, so yeah. Is it, personally, I just wait until it's open. I don't see what's so hard about that. Anyway. But yeah, there's the uh, entrance. Well, this is all the entrance, but like I said, there's a cool metal steel ladder there. It's a little sketchy, but it works. So this is the official entrance. I think the skylight's big enough for people to rope down into. I haven't been there, haven't done that. See, it's a little bit ways down there. A little bit fun. See if I can get over here without plummeting to my doom. Whoa. <laughs> the ground here is slippery because of all the uh, pine needles and stuff. Like I said, this isn't too long of a cave. Like, I don't even think it's a thousand feet long, but it's kind of cool cave. So, before I uh, bother to go inside though, I'll go ahead and tour the ground. You can drive here and park here, but what's funny, a few hundred feet back along the road, the only sign is just some random sign that says, please park here. So <laughs> if you didn't know what you were getting into, it'd be like, why would I park here? Where in the world is here? But anyway, let's see. I think I can go through these bushes or around them. This is public property. Like I said, there's north, there's private property to the north now, so can't go wandering too far, I suppose. See, there's a trail here. Watch your step. And watch other people's step. Watch everything. Wow, see I almost fell down. That wasn't pretty. I'm just wearing shoes. This cave isn't that hard, so I'm not gonna wear boots. Okay, so check this out. The ground looks ordinary. Look at this. There's a hole here. That's one of the skylight entrances to the cave. Two feet in diameter. Oh, wow. You can see here, dozens of feet down. So, yeah. Guess if you really wanted to sneak into the cave in the winter, you could climb a rope down there. But, like I said, you could just come here in the summer and climb down the ladder like a normal person, so whatever. And check this out. Here's another skylight. This one's about three feet in diameter, so it'd be easy to fall in there. But same story. It's dozens of, whoops, dozens of feet down. So, it would hurt. <laughs> but it'd definitely be big enough for you to rappel down. Yeah, yeah, if you know how to do, climb a rope, it'd be easy to get in here. So. I still think it'd be easier to take the ladder. It would be fun to, uh, to climb in here legally in the summer when, you know, get a, what's it called? Get some pictures or video. Okay, looks like that's the end of the trail. I don't remember if there's another skylight. Let me go a little farther here. Oh yeah. See, on top of this rock where the ground bulged out. There we go. Skylight, barely big enough you could fit through there, but if you're really dumb, you could fall there and there and get yourself killed. So, don't do that. I'm gonna wait until I'm old to die, hopefully. Actually, I'm already old, so I guess it's too late to die young. But anyway, here we go. Uh, ow, okay. So there's that one middle skylight, the big famous skylight. I'll go ahead and keep shooting the same video all the way back to the entrance. Although I'm gonna probably have to stop to get, you know what, my, uh, flashlight out. It's weird, they clean the bush around here, brush around here, I'm not sure why. Hmm. Over towards Sisters, they're doing a control burn right now. 
one Geo McAllister Road, probably somewhere in there. Uh, here we go. So, since I'm out here, I've got plenty of light. I have the aperture at f over 6.3. Oh, no, where did the cave go? Oh, it's over here to the right. <laughs> It'd be funny if I couldn't find the cave now. All right, here we go. But yeah, when I get in the cave, I'll make the aperture bigger, collect more light. Even though this is a full frame sensor, I'm not really impressed with the low light performance, but oh well. That's what I get for buying it. Well, it's not really a video camera. It's a really good kind of SLR with, you know, you get it. Here's the sign. Don't spread germs, don't bring dogs. Don't do anything stupid. Don't break anything. Blah, blah, blah. So this one's closed October 1st to April 30th. Here's a list of the caves here. I don't know if you can read that, that are open. The skeleton caves close year round. What's funny is some of those caves, I don't even know where they are. Actually, no way. All those closed caves, I do know where they are. Never mind. All right, here we go. Okay. This ladder is a bit sketchy, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll pause the video and start a new video at the bottom.